Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between G2 and Team BDS during week one of the LEC 2024 winter split. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Back increases the cooldown reduction of your items. Yes, ingenious Flash hunter. Adam. Really strong and actually works on someone like Renekton, as Shale's looking up towards the top side here. Broken Blade, no way out of this, as Shale will get first blood here. Now we're Yike now looking down towards that bottom side. Both teams playing on the opposite side of the map to where we expected them. Ghost comes out from Hans, Summer, handshake back. Ice tries to flash under the tower, and now we see Mickey already falling, taken out by the BDS bot lane, but they get one in response. TP now burnt as Lebrov tries to escape. Yike low, Adam joins the fray, stuns Hans, Summer. It's a two for two under the tower. TP in from Adam. To it. He could have just accepted, but Hans was bloodthirsty. He wanted to try and secure himself that extra bit of gold. Broken Blade now in a lot of danger. Being forced out here. Dominus is blocking. Broken Blade just can't survive. Adam already with the tier mat, likely building up to extend. They decide against it. Smart move. The wave is pushing in though. Hans has good guns for a fight if one was to erupt. There's the paranoia. They look for Hans Sama with the Severum. And the Crescendum, he still pulled back. The bailout won't be enough to save him as BDS now. Stick start against G2. That's a flyover start. You can see G2 are going to be able to pick up this Drake. Not too much changed in terms of dragons. You can see the pit is slightly different. An elongated wall on the red side makes it slightly harder for them to enter. But the only Drake, the only Blade is going to take a very long time before he can really duel. In the bot lane, two versus two. Lebrov is getting very feisty. Yeah, ice going forward. They do have the Fates call for Ice here as Mickey level up. levels up. And Ice doesn't Fate call Lebrov out of it. Yike now coming down. Ice realizes he's not in the best of spots. Yike could burn the flash, doesn't need it. For the cease and desist, and he batters Ice down. Ice dodges away. But Yike's still able to pick up the kill. A misplay from the BDS bot lane. Almost ticking over 2-6. Adam is going a little bit aggressive here. Shayo's on the way as well. Paranoia coming out. TP burnt by Caps. And Adam should be able to walk out of this one as the re-engage is invested by Shayo. The flash forward from Yike. Shayo's going to flash away. Adam does the same. Flash forward though by Caps as he manages to lock down Adam. And the shutdown on someone with your ultimate. They basically can't get away from your fear. Even if they flash, often you can it's chase everything them. the Nocturne could want, basically. Exactly. Now, G2 on the second dragon of the game. They are going to secure it. BDS, very late to contest, but they're committing behind. the TP. Adam looking for that Dominus. There's the Paranoia in as well. They've already managed to pull back Mickey, and he might just be sacrificed here by G2. Mickey falls. BDS get one kill through that bot side jungle, but should be relatively easy for BDS to take that because G2 have invested their time in making sure they take the Rift Herald. Now, there's two possible reasons for this. One, they might be trying to win the game and they want to take towers with it. Secondly, they might just want a rider. Obviously, right, going to be started and G2 going to leave it uncontested. This is the smart decision for G2. There's no reason for them to fight what we talked about earlier. BDS want to fight early to mid game. They're looking for these skirmishes. They're looking on bruises, right? The cooldown for each champion is six seconds. With Ingenious Hunter, you can get that down to four Medic, seconds. That's a great point, but... Oh, he's riding it! Wait, he went the wrong way! He no. didn't click! I no. did this so many times! Hang on, hang on, on! Let him cook! No. Let him cook! No. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where are you going, Caps? He wants the minions! <laughs> okay, no, okay. he clicked the wrong way, I think. Or did he just wanted to no, get No, he didn't. I swear he moved it to mid lane. I think this was a plan. You think it was going to expire and he just wanted to bring it I mid? think it did expire, it got spawned, it started going bot lane and so he moved it to I mid. I mean, that makes sense, but it's just going to die, so... It might get a charge. I don't think it does. I think above, he's forward, it's... autos the eye... Nope. And it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in any case, BDS, they may have found a pick. Paranoia coming down towards the bottom side, and there's the locker. Broken Blade trying to escape, but the fear connects. And X marks the spot, but Lebrov uses it a little Hang bit on. too late to get the kill. G2 now starting up the Baron. Lebrov and Sheo on their way up. No Paranoia, no TPs either. Sheo trying to chase in here. TP behind as Adam is going to try and join the fight, but already 4,000 HP on the Baron. G2 might have just snuck this one right under BDS's nose as they get it. Adam trying to get him from the side. Yike locks him up. The Ruthless put as a stun on Yike means that Adam will put some damage down. Mickey the first to fall the hostile takeover to disengage. The re-engage as Sheo dashes the wall, flashes it perfectly so that Yike doesn't chase him with spell the spell shield. shield. Yeah. Vamp really coming through there from the Riftmaker as well and what makes it such a stronger item. 
Now the Vi looking for a play bot. TP coming in, Adam with the Dominus, looking for the re-engage. LeBrov gonna join the fray as they lock down, yike! But they can't quite kill him up in time, they get him! After the Nico ultimate is used, Cap's trying to escape now as Adam chases him down, but he's rooted and locked up, and Gwen will snip him to death. The double for Broken Blade as G2 strike on the top side of the map. I mean, it's a two-for-one trade, and they should unlock a tower as well. Finding great kiting tools. And then each kill just being picked up by Broken Blade, working towards that death gap. Paranoid coming up, but G2 are here again! BDS will have to immediately disengage, but the tower's already falling. The spell shield from Shayo leaves Adam isolated. LeBrov trying to get in back from the back of the fight. Nuke's here to join as well. Shayo has been chased down, but Mickey's low. Death marks the spot for him. Cap's trying to escape as Nuke chases him down. Hunt Summer putting the damage from the bottom side of the fight. The Pop Blossom dodged by Nuke, but Broken Blade now joins the party. And Broken Blade will snip them to pieces. LeBrov tries to dash away, but Hun Summer has a flash and has a say in how the fight ends. And that's four dead for BDS. They tried to find another pick in the bot lane, but G2 was... I have to feel, until that moment, there was an opportunity for BDS to get back in, but here, likely an inhibitor falling. Broken Blade at two items, almost at three with the Rabadons. Rift Maker alongside Storm Surge, probably the most broken item on the patch. Alongside that, and Nash is in a round. It's a tale as old as time. Two. Fall behind in the early game, managed to fight back in the mid game. LeBrov caught here by Yike trying to channel the Q, but he's already shut out. Thunder from above as the Storm Shirts connects. There's the Pop Blossom and Pop goes BDS. Shadow, the last man standing in the top lane fray, but he'll be snipped away and won't live to fight another day. Yike doesn't have the ultimate, no cease and desist for him. But, uh, they'll still be able to chase away Adam and Ice and now be a G2. Knocking on the doors of the Nexus, second inhibitor to fall, and maybe they'll look for more. Under 30 minutes, just like that. G2 have the Nexus in their eyes to flash in from Mickey. Hostile takeover forces Adam to go berserk and start, start hitting ice. The Nexus tower now focused down by G2. And for the first time in our new arena and in 2024, G2 will take the win. These were some of the best highlights from the LEC 2024 Winter Split matchup between G2 and Team BDS. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.